Look at that. We're bringing God into into conversation again. As I've said, this is a big topic from right now for me, and it will probably be for the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 9.54 p.m. documenting step number 29 out of the book Steps to Knowledge which is channeled by Marshall Vian Summers. So uh, this was, uh, this was, this is a really interesting step uh, because it's the the practices here change we go into another kind of practices which are how hourly practices it's no more like two 15 minutes practice towards the day it's more like of a continuous hourly practice and uh, I've did it yesterday like on 31 but uh, I mean I did the practice I did the, the step but I didn't know like how, how to handle it in the sense that should I fucking write like every hour what I'm thinking when I'm what I'm doing like the steps like the step implies or sh and it didn't make sense to me like I should write my thoughts and what I'm thinking like every fucking hour it didn't make sense to me so I repeated it today and I have come to a conclusion to to about what I should write and uh, uh, this is like a practice where uh, every hour or so you just uh, observe yourself like you ask um, there were two specific questions like how, how am I feeling and uh, what am I thinking right now? Uh, I'm not sure those are the precise questions, but something along those lines. So, uh, yeah, I have did that and uh, it's, it's really interesting because it, it, it's like if you don't, if you happen to be distracted by something and then you remember the practice then you can bring your aware, awareness back to the present point and if you are distracted you can take take your attention away from that and return to that which, which you feel like you should be doing instead of getting distracted by random things uh, so I kind of write about what the practice does and uh, the benefits of it, I think. So let's just jump into what I wrote here. Like uh, the practice, I did it today on the 31 and on the 1st April, on 31 March and 1st April. So uh, it's been two days since I did it and uh, this is what I wrote like some time ago, like one hour ago or so, maybe, maybe less. Anyway. What I will write is, although not a step about a precise topic per se, uh, this is indeed a most important step, for its practice has the function of increasing our own self-awareness, which brings us closer to God. Oh, look at that, we're bringing God into, into conversation again. As I've said, this is a big topic from right now for me and it will probably be for the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Why, uh, why increasing our own self-awareness? Why does that bring us closer to God? Because God is all awareness. So being more self-aware, you, you are more closer more closer i think that's wrong you're just closer to him him whatever i've did a similar kind of practice when i was giving uh, a significant amount of attention to lucid dreaming which is to consciously awaken uh, to co to consciously awaken into a dream to the fact that we are dreaming uh, which is the exact purpose of every human being 
to awaken to the fact that physical reality is a dream and that we are the imagination of ourselves. To quote Bill Hicks. Uh, Bill Hicks is a big... Well, he was a big of um, a lot of things. Like He was a brilliant, brilliant stand-up comedian. And uh, uh, to, to me and to other people was also a prophet. Like he had... He had some real, uh, real insights to offer and I do enjoy him quite a lot. So it was like three, three th things that I wrote. So this kind of practice allows us to become more self-conscious again about our, our imagination of ourselves as Bill Hicks quoted. And after it accord on the, uh, okay. This kind of practice allows us to become more self-conscious about our imagination of ourselves and alter it according to our dreams, to our desires. And uh, once altered, it will be, be externalized into the world where matter is merely energy condensed into a slow vibration. To quote Bill Hicks again, as I said, brilliant fucking man and the prophet and just uh, uh, just a great human being and yes that is the physical world so uh that's 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 kind of uh, what i wrote wrote about the practice as i said i found this this kind of practice really really important like to bring your sense of self-awareness and consciousness back to to the present moment and uh, see what you are doing what you are thinking how are you feeling and if it's in fact not something that you feel like you should be doing then change it in that precise moment so um yeah that's that's the step number 29 which was was and is uh, of significant importance and uh, yeah, I hope there will there will be more more steps like 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 this one. Although it's a real uh, it's a little bit more difficult for me to not difficult, but it's it's not like a, about a precise topic. So I have to write about the practices and what what kind of benefits do those do those give or are supposed to give if done properly but um yeah it's it's an interesting step so it's this is a short step uh, in terms of uh documenting it but uh short but to the point and uh, of significant importance so uh, this has been it for step number 29 Thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time or I just see myself by rewatching the video next time. Who knows? Who knows? I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been Cipri and GN. I thank you for watching and I'm out. Damn.